In today's video, I'll be sharing with you how I went from $7,000 to $21,000 per month selling on Amazon off of just one product. So be sure that you stay tuned. What's going on guys? Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time, consider subscribing. I'm also starting something very new and super cool where I will be actually doing a giveaway to a, a 10 plus page ebook that I will show you exactly step by step on how to launch a successful business on Amazon. So if you want to enter to win, all you have to do is comment below the word BJKU dash uh, oh, I'm sorry, BJK-U, and uh, also give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to, my, to the channel. And then on the next video, I'll be actually doing a, the announcement for the winner of this video's uh, winner. Now, another thing is if you are interested in selling on Amazon or if this is something that you are struggling with, maybe you just started and you want me to walk you kind of step by step, the first link in the description is to a, an application where you, know, you fill it out. We also schedule a call where we jump on a call and then kind of figure out if you know, if I can help you and if we are a good fit to really take you through the steps and, you know, help you launch a successful Amazon business. And without any further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in. So something that many people leave out of, you know, whether if you have taken a course on Amazon, or you've been following someone on YouTube or really just anyone that starts and tries to sell on, on Amazon is the fact that when people go to amazon.com or when people go to Google or YouTube or whatever, right? Like for you to have landed on this video, you simply typed something, right? You researched something, whatever that keyword is, that's how you found this video. And then maybe this video popped up on a suggest, you know, on the right column of the suggested video onto another one, right? But you started by searching something that landed you here, correct? Now, what I want you to think back on is last time you visited Amazon, right? Um, I'm pretty sure you probably bought something on Amazon. Last time you went to Amazon, you typed something in there. Now, the cool thing about that is that it's very simple, but many people don't really think about it, is that you are going to Amazon to put in a specific term to search for a specific product, right? And that keyword is very important. And that's why in my program, one of the very main things that we talk about is keyword search because it doesn't matter if you are on page one for one keyword, but that keyword only has like 500 or a thousand monthly searches, right? You're really not gonna get that many sales. And that's why when people say, well, my product is ranking on page one, sure, but for what keyword number one, how many keywords number two, and for the keywords that you are launching or you are uh, uh, ranking on page three or page one, I'm sorry, how many monthly searches does it have? Now, in my program, I teach my students on how to find keywords that will rank you to the top or that you want to rank for to the top of the pages. And those keywords need to have between 5,000 to 20,000 monthly searches. That's very important, right? Now, you may find your main keyword. Let's say, you know, one of my very early on products, please don't try to sell it because it's very saturated right now. But my very first products was a grooming glove, a pet grooming glove. Now, if you search the keyword pet grooming glove on Amazon, I haven't done the search in over a year, but it's going to probably be in the 20, 30,000, if not higher, right? Now, the thing that you have to understand is, yes, the higher the merrier, but also when you get higher than 20,000, what happens is that the niche gets very competitive. And that's why you need to be within that 5,000 to 20,000 monthly searches. Now, another thing that you have to understand is that, so let's say you launch your product to the top of page one for one keyword that's got, let's say, 7,900 monthly searches, right? And you are ranked number seven. You've been, you know, grinding it out for the past, I don't know, two, three weeks maybe. And then now you're generating, let's say, 15 sales organically per day, right? And, uh, or, or let's say with PPC. PPC organic, you're generating about 15 sales. You're making about $10 a pop. You know, that's $1,500, uh, or I'm sorry, $150 times 30, whatever that number is. I'm not good at math, right? I think it's $4,500 or something. But whatever that number is, that's off of one keyword. Now, the cool thing with Amazon's algorithm is that when you rank for one keyword, all of the other keywords also start ranking because when you start showing up at the top of, the, of page one for one keyword, that means also people are probably, you know, searching for you using other keywords and the whole, you know, listing ranking is going up, right? Well, the number goes down, but the ranking goes up. You don't know what I mean, what I mean correct? So um, another thing they have to look into is and kind of what I do for my products and, and how I went from 7,000 to 21,000 is I simply started researching other keywords 
that number one had higher, you know, very high monthly search volume, but number two also were a little bit of a uh, longer tail keywords. Now you may think, why is that, you know, why is that important and what does long tail keyword mean? Well, I got you. Number one, it is, you know, important to, for the keyword to be a little longer tail keyword is because if someone is typing two words to finding a product, they're probably either number one, not sold on the product, or number two, don't exactly know what they're looking for. But if you are someone that's gonna go to Amazon or go to Google or go to YouTube and type multiple, especially for a physical product, like if you go to Google, sometimes I have to type like an entire sentence or two sentences to find what I'm looking for, right? Because I don't know what I'm looking for. But when I go into to Amazon, you know, when I'm looking for a, a specific product, I kind of already have a picture in my mind what that product looks like, right? So if I type three, four, even five words in a phrase, that's a longer tail keyword. So a long tail keyword usually is at least three words. I like to say at least four words, if not five words in a phrase, that makes it a long tail keyword, right? So the cool thing about that is that the conversions are gonna be higher. If someone types two words in a phrase to finding a product, usually the even with your PPC, the conversions are probably gonna be lower, right? And then the cost is gonna be higher as well because you're gonna probably be getting a bunch of clicks and not really very many conversions. Now with the longer tail keywords, the cool thing about it is that if someone is typing three, four, even five words to find a product, the awesome thing about that is that they probably know exactly what they're looking for, so the conversions are gonna be higher. You know, the average conversion rate is about 20%, so for every five clicks, you wanna get one sale. But in this case, what's gonna happen is that you may be getting, you know, two clicks or three clicks for a conversion for one sale, which is pretty incredible, and especially if that keyword has high monthly search volume. Now, usually, the longer tail keywords have smaller monthly search volume simply because not many people are gonna be looking for the longer tail, but that's what I like, is that I don't like it to be competitive, right, number one, and number two, I want my conversion rate to be higher, and that's what I simply do. So let's kind of recap what we talked about. I'm sorry if I dumped a whole bunch of information at you right now. Uh, you know, the way that I scaled my products, you know, from, or my product from 7,000 to 20,000, 21,000, and how I continuously keep doing that and how I teach in my program is, number one, of course, focus on one keyword that's got between 5,000 to 20,000 monthly searches. Number two, make sure that you are looking, after you are ranking for that one main keyword, start looking for other keywords that also have between that 5,000 and 20,000. It's okay if it's a little bit less than 5,000, but as long as it is longer tail keyword and that you have actually, you know, uh, uh, proven that it, the conversions for that keyword are pretty high, at least 20%, if not higher. Now, once again, if you want to be the winner for this video's, uh, uh, you know, free ebook, a copy of my free ebook, and by the way, I'm always continually adding to it. So if you want it, you know, uh, it's going to be a Google Drive. So I'm going to be always adding to it right now. It's about 10 pages and it's only going to keep growing. All you have to do is comment below BJK slash you to uh, enter to the win and also make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Now, if you want me to walk you through, you know, how selling on Amazon works, sh you know, share with you every Thing that I've learned in the past four and a half years. The first link in the description is going to be to a short application that you book a call with me or one of my team members where we, you know, talk to you, figure out exactly where you are, you know, answer some of your questions and then figure out if you are a good fit to work with me directly to really, you know, take you to the next level and take your Amazon business to the next level. Now, aside from that, guys, Bashar Katu here. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have yourselves a great day. Take care.